Number 34, letter A. What is the potential between two points situated 10 centimeters and 20 centimeters from a three microcoulomb point charge? All right, so here's the point charge. It's three microcoulombs, or AKA three times 10 to the minus six coulombs. And we wanna find the potential between essentially the 10 centimeter point away from that point charge right here and 20. Okay, so the potential between these two points. Well, wouldn't it make sense that whatever the potential is, let's say at this point, we can subtract it from this point, right? So I can say something like, well, the answer should be V1 minus then, we'll call this right now, like 0.1 minus V2, and we'll call that 0.2. Sure it does, right? So we can take this V1 minus V2, and now we can find a formula that talks about the voltage at a point relative, or AKA at a, at a distance relative to a point charge. And that's this formula over here on the right-hand side. And so basically I can do a substitution where each of them are gonna be K times the charge Q that's producing the potential at that point divided by then the distance between the charge and the point in which the potential is being measured. And I put little subscripts down here, one and one, minus then K times Q2 over R2. Okay, and well, this is fine, this is Q2, but what do you know about the Qs? They're really the same, right? Because it's the same point charge. So essentially what would probably be best is if I just erase those subscripts. Otherwise it might look like they're not the same. Now notice, what can I kind of factor out here? I can factor out a constant KQ if I wanted to, right? So this would be one over R1 minus one over R2 and just simply find it, right? Nine times 10 to the ninth the Q is going to be 3 times 10 to the minus 6th. And then the R1 was 1 over 10 centimeters. Why don't we convert that into meters? That's a 0.1 minus then 1 over 0.2. And let's do it. So 9 times 10 to the 9th multiplied by 3 times 10 to the minus 6th. Multiply then by the difference between 1 divided by 0.1 minus 1 divided by 0.2. So this I get about 135,000, 100 and, whoops. So 135,000 or AKA 1.35 times 10, times 10 to the, did they want it in the, no. Yeah, so that's fine, times 10 to the uh, fifth. And that's in terms of volts, okay? That's the difference, that's it. Okie dokie, so now what's next? Okay, to what location then should the point at 20 centimeters be moved to increase this potential difference by a factor of two? Okay, so we gotta think about this a little bit, right? We're, they're asking us how far should this thing move out in order for the, the potential difference between these two to increase by a factor of two? Uh, meaning that, you know, we can do the math, we can kind of reverse engineer it, meaning that the potential difference here is not 1.35 times 10 to the fifth is going to be twice that amount, right? Or okay, about 2.7 times 10 to the fifth. So we can reverse engineer it if you want it. And then we can solve basically for this new unknown. I mean, that might be the best way to, would that be the best? I'm thinking about if there's maybe a little more of an intuitive way. Um, mm -hmm. You know what? Why don't we actually see what these two worked out to be? Okay, these two values in here. There might be a little bit more of an intuitive way. So uh, one over 0.1 is equal to 10, right? And then one over 0.2 is equal to five, right? Let me just check that just to make sure. Okay, it's good. So if we notice here, what's, what's going to be, t what's 10 minus five? Obviously that's five, right? So in the original problem, the difference between these two was five, okay? Now the only way to, let me just write that in here, five. The only way now to double the output of the math here is this isn't gonna change, it's K, that's the same. The charge is not changing either, that's the same. The only thing that's gonna change is this factor, right? And that means the only thing that's gonna change is this number here, okay? Because we're trying to look to see how far out we should move that. So what's double five? Right, we gotta double it, so that means that if this was, if the difference was five before, that means it has to become 10 now. 
So if you notice, wait a minute, if this stays 10, and somehow I have to have then 10 minus, well now it's getting really messy, right? If I have to have then some value 10 minus something, what gives me 10? This has to be zero, right? 10 minus zero will be 10, and that will then be double, right? Because we went from five then to a total of 10 in there. That would have been double. So the question you have to ask yourself now is, well, how do I get this fraction to go to zero if I know that I'm manipulating the denominator here? Does it have to become bigger or smaller? It has to become really, really big, right? Really, really big, like tremendously large, like, I don't know, infinitely large? Infinite, okay? Infinitely large. And uh, that's the answer. It has to go become infinitely far away. Kind of counterintuitive, right? You wouldn't think. But that's the way it works, everyone. That's life. Thank you.